was just dragging into a blank area so that I could kind of, you know, see what it, how it breaks down. Some, some of the people don't actually do it this way. If I let go, it's just converted everything to MIDI now. So, I'm gonna, well, which one we want? Um, these are all going to be MIDI for the time being because I want to start with MIDI and then I'll show you what the audio does. So, this Sia chandelier file, if I actually I'm going to take all of these instruments, because I don't know what they are right now, it just says track one, track seven, and hit play. Nothing's happening yet until I actually pick out some instruments and we can start to figure out what each part is. So we'll do track one first. Let's take the quickest instrument I use is a piano, just so I know what's happening. And I'm just going to go to G for grand piano. Do. Nice. Right. Uh, scroll is different. There we go. Grand piano. Okay. I don't know what that part is. So let's drag the grand piano on this one too. Same thing. They're all playing at the same time. This one is more likely a drum. Because it's playing completely all the wrong notes. And it's just doing this weird rhythm. So, we put it in a way to get this track. Now, if I hear it from the top, just to see what it sounds like. Figure out which part is this one. Sounds like the vocal line. You can swap the instruments in. So this one is definitely the bass track uh, four. So we're just gonna quickly plop the bass on. sounds for these instruments but at the end of the day so why you can't do that yourself why were you chandelier um i picked the midi instrument because i don't know the chord structure for chandelier not only that i've cre recreated chandelier without using a single sample from the original song and i broke it up into parts so a it's easy for inspiration b i'm not infringing on anybody and then i can also use this as my template and it doesn't use a lot of processing because if I look at it, <clears throat> each of these little boxes right here, they're called clips. And there's two views. If I double click the clip and the actual little peach colored part, this is the information that it's playing. It's but without an instrument on it, you can't hear it's that. just computer data. Yeah. When I flip it, Clicking on the peach part shows this MIDI part. Clicking on the red title, which is called the title bar, shows you what instrument or what processing is happening. So, <clears throat> the so what's the application for um, The application for what MIDI? Yeah. Generally, MIDI applies to any instrument or structure you create. So drum kits, this applies to lighting messages, um, anything you can possibly want to use to sync up 